10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! Get ready to succeed. Hi folks, welcome to A Voice in the Desert. Great to be with you as always, sharing the wonderful word of Jesus Christ. Today's message is titled, The Gateway to Idolatry. Throughout history, from the time of Adam, the devil has persistently attempted to lure mankind away from God, enticing them to serve, worship, and adore him. In order to accomplish this, he employs subtle tactics to sow doubt in the minds of leaders, in the minds of the servants of God, the children of God, the inheritors of God, urging them to question God's word and embrace his deceitful lies instead. When God created humanity, he granted the blessing and dominion over all creatures, only placing one command before them. The devil, however, cunningly accused God in the presence of Eve, engaging her in an unfruitful argument. The pointless debate led to doubts about God's authority, and Eve and Adam succumbed to their greed and desire for the forbidden fruit, ultimately touching and consuming it. The Lord God had instructed Adam, saying, You may freely eat from any tree in the garden, from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, for when you eat from it, you will certainly die. The serpent, most cunningly, the most cunning creature God had formed, approached the woman and said, Did God really say? You must not eat from you must not eat from any in the tree? The woman replied, We may eat fruit from the trees in the garden. But did God say you must not eat fruit from the tree that's in the middle of the garden? And you must not touch it or you will die. The serpent then deceived the woman by declaring, You will certainly not die. This, you're going to find it in Genesis chapter 2, verse 16. Genesis chapter 17. Okay. Um, and chapter 3, verses 1 through 4. Doubting God's word and engaging in disobedient actions against his teachings serve as an open doors to idolatry, letting to animosity towards and forming friendship with the devil. Unfortunately, the gravest self-deception is believing that one can befriend the devil. God has already established a permanent and everlasting enmity between humanity and the devil, which can never be reversed. Did you hear that? God has already established a permanent and everlasting enmity between human and the devil, which can never be reversed. And I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. He will crush your head and you will strike his heel. Genesis 3.15 In essence, the gateway to idolatry begins with attentively listening to Satan's lie, contemplating and devising strategies against God's word, doubting his authority, desiring to engage in prohibited actions, ultimately sinning against God. Cain not only fell prey to the affirmation temptations, but he also went further by offering an unacceptable sacrifice to the Lord. He, dis he disregarded God's commandments. He lied. And as a consequence, he was cursed, became a wanderer and a fugitive. 
You'll find this in Genesis chapter 4, verses 3 through 12. These are individuals both within and outside of the church who find themselves wanderingly, aimlessly seeking prayers of deliverance without first conquering sin, which is the fundamental doorway to true deliverance. Let me repeat this again to you. Seeking prayer for deliverance without first conquering sin, which is the fundamental doorway to deliverance. In other words, in order to be delivered from sin, we first have to be conquered. We have to conquer the sin. We have to overcome it. And that is the deliverance. That is the doorway to deliverance from sin and from the traps of the enemy. Behold, you trust in deceptive words to no avail. Will you steal, murder, commit adultery, swear falsely, burn incense to Baal, follow other gods that you have not known, and then come and stand before me in the house which bears my name and says we are safe, safe to do all these detestable things? Has this house which bears my name become a den of robbers to you? But I have been watching, declares the Lord. This word comes from Jeremiah chapter 7, verses 8 through 11. When the people of Sodom and Gomorrah plunge into various forms of sin, such as homosexuality, lesbianism, wickedness, and violence, God abandoned them. Some among them became blinded and immersed in defilements, failing to seek repentance and continuing to worship the devil until God destroyed them with fire. Folks, this is what we're seeing currently in our times. We are to stay away from sin. We are to repent from our sins and then we shall be delivered from the hands of the enemy. For the Lord Jesus Christ says so in his word. And that's why we preach and teach his word week after week, month after month, year after year. Not for my sake, but for the sake of all. For God wants not even one to be lost. And also another commandment of the Lord is take my word to the ends of the earth. That's why we here at A Voice in the Desert take our time to commune with God, commune with his word, to be able to deliver these messages to you. We doing no seeking glorification from man for our glorification and our prize and our crown of salvation comes from the Lord. Damned is the man that believes in another man. I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and so should you. I bring your attention to the Word of God, and I want you to heed His Word. Because even though I myself have my faults, because there is not even one in the planet earth in this whole world not even one that is good that includes me that's delivering his word but by his mercy and grace i have been saved by his blood by his sacrifice on golgotha the day he shed his blood for me to wipe me clean of my sins that's why I can come to you boldly and speak the word of God with the authority that God has given me. Because he has given me the authority and the power and the Holy Spirit to be able to speak his word to you. And if you are listening to this message, it is my sincerest hope that you really meditate and think about where your life is going. If you think this world is going to change, if you think this world is going to turn differently, if we only pick the right president, if we only have the right minister, if we only have the right chancellor, if I only have the right 
pastor or apostle or evangelist. You're wrong because your eyes should not be set upon man. Your eyes are to be set upon Jesus Christ. And then and only then when you have given your life fully over to him and become a brand new reborn Christian in Christ, can you say and read, Behold, your redemption is near. Yes, because our redemption is near. The rapture of the church is around the corner and the times tells us so. Don't expect things to get better, folks. Because I'm going to tell you a little secret. The Bible says it's not going to get any better. It's going to get worse. So what you do with this message, it's up to you. But it is my prayer and my sincerest, sincerest feelings from my heart that you turn away from your sins and you follow Jesus Christ. Once again, my name is Caesar, and I am a voice in the desert. God bless you all. If you have realized that you can no longer continue your life the way it is now, if you want to be a follower of Jesus Christ, please say this simple prayer of confession. Dear God in heaven, I come to you in the name of Jesus. I acknowledge to you that I am a sinner, and I am sorry for my sins and the life that I have lived. I need your forgiveness. I believe that your only begotten Son Jesus Christ shed his precious blood on the cross at Calvary and died for my sins, and I am now willing to turn from my sin. You said in the Bible that if we confess the Lord our God and believe in our hearts that God raised Jesus from the dead, we shall be saved. Right now I confess Jesus is my Lord. With my heart, I believe that God raised Jesus from the dead. This very moment I accept Jesus Christ as my own personal Savior and according to His Word, right now I'm saved. Amen. If you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior, please make sure you find a good Bible church. Welcome to the family of Jesus Christ.